Hi traders, I like Beyond because Beyond is down 3.5% and they try to move higher. Love the first green candle. That should be a point where all the buyers are moving out of the game and now I'm going to short it under 135.50. Watch the buyers here, 135.67 now. If they're going to come down a little bit more, I'm going to short it 4,000 shares now. I didn't quite get it, but oh, oh, look at this one point move here. This is crazy. This is quite crazy. Getting ready for a partial, a quick partial. I don't want to let it go now. Wow, that was quick. Love it. Love it when it happens like that. First trade, beyond. Watching Boeing for, Boeing for the same reason. Although Boeing is down just 0.6%. I think it should come down too. It try to move higher. Lots of topping tails. I'm about to short. Shorting now. Lots of topping tails here. We should take it under the lows. And <laughs> I'm doing good. Look at this. Look at it comes down. Of course, not enough now. Now it's getting there. Now it's getting there. Getting ready for a partial. It's a bit extended in my opinion now, but it not really. Oh, it's very volatile. Okay, okay, okay. It's back to the lows and more. Getting ready for a partial now. I don't want to let it go. Good. Got over $3,000 in profits now. Took my partial. Wow. Second trade. Just a few minutes into the trading session. I'm up at around $6,000. Just two trades. WHKS. Same reason. A probably gap and go trade. It's down 3.2% and I'm about to short here. Now I'm short. It's a nice reversal. Again, failed to move higher. Lots of topping tails. Should come down. Look at beyond. Just look at beyond. Crazy. Almost four points here and I'm about to close it. I'm going to close my last 100 shares. Here it comes. Over four points. This is crazy. I took my partial, partial at less than one point and all red candles. I just think, uh, okay, it's pulling back up now, I'm closing it. I just think I'm, I could possibly short it later at a better price. I mean, the way it came down, it's just way too extended. It should move higher and I'm probably going to find a new opportunity. WKS is not doing well. It's not a big loser. Just 15 cents down. I don't want to let it move over seven. Oh, what is this spike? About to close this trade. Okay, close the trade. Well, I lost um, almost two grand on this trade. Um, it spiked up, didn't work out. Here comes beyond. Look at the point over there where I thought it was overextended. It did pull back up. Now I would really like to short it again. Feel quite good about its direction. Shorting once more, 4,000 shares in beyond. I love, I love the trend. Baba's looking good. Baba's down 1.5%. It came down strong. Same idea as beyond. It should continue its downtrend and I'm about to short it. Now, I'm short Baba. It looks good. You know, Baba's trending lower. Beyond's trending lower. The market's trending lower. Look at the S&P and look at the Nasdaq. The interesting part here is Nasdaq. You see, the Nasdaq has some kind of a bear flag formation here, and it looks like it's about to come down. Usually, we only trust the S&P. The S&P came down quite a bit from the highs, as you can see here. So it's likely to follow the Nasdaq. Sometimes, the Nasdaq is our crystal ball. It tells us what the S&P is about to do. And what's important is what the S&P is doing, and not what the Nasdaq is doing. So I'm guessing the market should come down. That's why I'm short now. And as you can see here, Beyond is green now at around $800 and um, I've got like $800 too in BABA. So they're all coming down nicely with the market. I'm about to do the same thing with Boeing. Second trade in Boeing, smaller size than the first trade. About to short 2,000 shares. Okay, now. So you see, Boeing, on the other hand, is stronger. As you can see, it moved up quite a bit. 
But I'm looking at the S&P 500 and you can see here that the S&P is about to join the Nasdaq. Nasdaq is at the lows right now and uh, about to break down. Again, a nice bear, for, bear flag formation over here. And I think that both of them should come down, should come down too. So you see, uh, Beyond is holding down, Boeing just came down, uh, Baba's looking okay. So all of them are looking down and I'm expecting a new low at the S&P 500, which would probably take me to my partial point in all my brand new three trades here, beyond Baba and Boeing. So I'm hoping for a new low. I did get a new low. Look at the Nasdaq here. It just moved to a new low, but uh, for some strange reason, Beyond is approaching my stop loss point, which is right here, this resistance line over here that you're seeing here. And um, already down $5,000, which is actually going to move me to red territory in beyond $6,000 about to close. There's no future here. Closing. Well, I took the risk in beyond. I shouldn't have done that. I, I took the same size as my first trade. That was a mistake. I'm out. It's going the wrong way, although I was right about market direction. Market did come down, but beyond for some strange reason, moved higher. And Baba does the same. I'm down three grand. <laughs> I'm not doing well. I am not doing well. I need to close this trade too. Again, look at this resistance point here. It's just crossing here and I'm about to close. I'm closing it. Well, that is an interesting day. I just uh, had a loser in Beyond, a loser in BABA, and I moved to red territory, although I was right about market direction. You see, the S&P did come down under the lows, NASDAQ did come down under the lows, but all my two trades, actually three, including Boeing, is not doing well. Look at Boeing here. It's back to my entry point, and now it's moving higher, and this small pullback from the highs, from the lows here at the S&P is taking me out, and I'm about to close my Boeing trade too. <laughs> right about market direction, wrong about choosing the stocks. It's moving higher, I'm about to close, closed it. Well, uh, the only decent thing I really done in Boeing was taking my second trade, the half size, as my first one. You know, when you have a first green trade, you should be risking only half size. So look at Boeing. I finished Boeing in green territory, up $1,400. My first trade was over $3,000. So I was risking approximately 50% of my earnings in Boeing, which is what I should do. On the other hand, I took beyond at the same size and actually let it ride a little bit more than my first trade. I trusted it, true, but I forgot it's a Friday. And sometimes on a Friday, the market just doesn't go as much as you expected. Look here at the Nasdaq. You see, we did come down under the lows, but we spiked back up. And that's a typical Friday. And, well, that's something I did wrong. So I should have traded beyond half size or less than my first trade. I should have finished in green and beyond. And, of course, you know, BABA is a loser and WKHS is a loser, but I should have finished at around zero anyway today. Well... The art of uh, starting up $6,000 and finishing down $6,000. I should be writing a book. Would you buy it? Have a great weekend, traders. I'll see you all next week. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.